Good morning, Journey Church, and welcome to today's Daily Dose. I'm Luke Mornian, one of the elders here at Journey. I recently traveled to Portland, Oregon to visit my mom. As is typical this time of year, it rained almost the entire time that I was there. Every time I go to Portland, I'm immediately struck by the contrast to Kingman. It's so green, so lush, so wet. The desert here in Kingman is so dry, so rocky, and almost completely devoid of color other than those occasional bright spots that are from the desert wildflowers and cactus. However, there are similarities. And make no mistake, the majesty of God's creation is everywhere you look, whether in Kingman or in Portland. As Paul writes in Romans 1, verse 20, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible quality, his eternal power, and his divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. Of course, if God's creation leaves us with no excuse, as Paul wrote to the church in Rome, no excuse to deny the existence of our Creator, and no excuse for a non-believer to say that they are unaware of God. As believers, we also have no excuse for worshiping created things rather than worshiping our Creator. C.S. Lewis writes in Mere Christianity that you will not get eternal life by simply feeling the presence of God in flowers or music or nature. God's abundant majesty in creation must lead us to worship him. He has given us in creation a constant reminder of his presence. Let's take advantage of that reminder in small but frequent times of worship. When you see a roadrunner or a family of quail dart across the road in front of you, when you glance up at the wall of pies looming over Kingman, when you marvel at the beauty of a desert sunrise or sunset, or when you gaze up into the Milky Way in the night desert sky, thank God for his creation. And then thank him for the blessings in your life. Finally, spend some time in prayer. Confess your sins, your shortcomings, and ask him to make you more like him every day. Ask him to meet your needs. I'll conclude with Amos chapter 4, verse 13. He who forms the mountains, who creates the wind, and who reveals his thoughts to mankind, who turns dawn to darkness and treads on the heights of the earth, the Lord God Almighty is his name. Let us be reminded of him in the world around us, and let that reminder lead us to worship him. Have a wonderful day.